It is now uh, 3 uh, 3.06 um, on Wednesday, November 6, 2024. And so I'm going to call to order the Summer County Library Bylaws and Policies Committee. Do a roll call. Jim Welcome. Erica Grammer. Jackie Wilbur. Mike Bright. And Joanna Daniel. Um, all right, if we can start. Um, Jim, would you mind doing the application? Uh, Heavenly Father, uh, we gather today just uh, grateful to be able to serve this county, this community, uh, and our country in some small way. I pray that you bless this time and uh, give us wisdom, give us hearts for service. You'll be needed to your word and your will in all we do. Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Okay. All right, and we are going to do this move on to the approval of the oh, yeah approval of the agenda. Do you have a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Yeah. Uh, do I have a second? I'm second. Okay. Jackie. All right. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So we approve the agenda. Uh, now we're going to move on to the recognition of the public. Um, as of right now, uh, we have Lauren from Westmoreland. She is joining us today. Um, do you want to make any public comment, or do you want to wait, or you can? You know, I'm just looking through notary law. Okay. It's all good. I mean, yeah. all right. Wonderful. So um, there will no one signed up for public comment. Okay. So we are now going to move on to the approval of the minutes from the October 8th, 2024. I put 2023, just noticed that, so we will actually move uh, on the agenda. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, so many years. The last so many years. So many, yes. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, all right. Uh, anything else? Oh, Jim? Yeah, uh, two. Okay, uh, item number four, the okay. approval of minutes October 18th, 2023. Is that correct? Uh, no. Um, October 8th, 2024. Okay. Sorry. Sure. I don't think you're attempting to make a travel. Uh, and then, uh, new business. Uh, my last on the, business on the mini, is this on the mini? Uh, this is. Yeah. Okay. Yes. October 8th. Okay. Yes. Uh, and then uh, misspell your mining there, otherwise it's fine okay. for us. It looks like it's fine. All right. Um, so two amendments to it would be approval minutes for October 8th, 2024, instead of October 18th, 2023. And then um, new business, uh, correcting Jim's name. And then my name is not on there at all. Up top. Right top. Oh, um, that's what I'm looking mm -hmm. at. Right there, at the top. Is that what we're looking at? The top? Oh, yeah. I because you can't. Kaylee yeah. instead of um, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. You are in the minutes, uh, as you said, yeah. in the motion. Yeah, and then you're item number five. So and then it has to be light. Well, the two personnel and bylaws are so close. Yeah. That person the only difference is you and Kaylee. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I apologize about that. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Um, is there anything else? Um, Um, 
That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you don't need to do the email. Okay. Yeah, All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any objections? Okay, wonderful. Um, so this is based on the note that we took and we ended up um, on October 8th, and um, also was following the Stokes Brown Public Library um, policy and the Nashville policy. Um, and so, just want to make sure that um, we'll just kind of read through it real quick, and if there's anything that um, we see that needs to be. Summer County Public Libraries may offer notary public services for the benefit of the residents of the community. The library director of each library may decide if the service will be available at their specific facility. The library's notary is not an attorney licensed. The following guidelines will be followed in the provision of notary service. Notary services will only be available during regular library business hours and by appointment only at the discretion of the library director. Notary service is not guaranteed to customers who do not call in advance to schedule an appointment. Does that sound good so far? Yes. Customers seeking notary services should call the library prior to their visit to ensure that the notary service is available. Valid government issued Photo identification is required of any customer seeking notary service. Five documents per person per visit. And I wanted to ask this quick question here. Is, is that a lot or is that little? I, I, um, I just went off of what they had. I think that was a notation we had seen on something else. This one. And it was to help limit its expenses. I was just asking, is five expensive? I, I, I don't think so if it's the simpler version of things, you know, because of the things that we start getting into of what it does not include. Yeah. More. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, notary service is free. A library card is not required for the service. Documents in any language other than English will not be notarized in any Sumner County Public Library facility. Available for sworn statements, rental agreements, copy certificates, motor motor vehicle bill of sale, and beneficiary designations for retirement accounts. Um, I did have this. I did have a question for you. You said promissory notes. We we mentioned that, but I don't think we got into a detail about that. So I wanted to ask: Is it specific promissory notes or just any promissory note? Because when I looked up promissory notes, I mean it could be anything. Yeah. So, do we want to put promissory notes in there, or just leave it out? What What are we thinking here? Because I mean, a, a real estate action could be a um, could be, and we said no to that. Cash, basically, that so could be for anything. Well, you you dealt with it. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, I I've said it this on record many times that I would just keep it on the simplest side of it because then there's less liability. Sure. Um, I also wanted to, in in that same conversation, um, like permission slips, those kind of things, those are those are things that are very common with um, parents needing a notary for going to camp or mm -hmm. permission to going to things for churches or for, ch for school groups or that kind of thing. So permission slips, you know, like a permission slip concept or um, a lot of times even, um, I know with Boy Scouts we had to have their health, thing, their health documentation notarized as well. So it was just showing a parent giving permission for a child where we had to have that notarized and documented so that a child couldn't uh, sign for the parent. So when you kind of like giving a driver's license, the parent, you know, has to sign. Uh, so what would be a simple verbiage for that? Parental permission? Uh, subjects? I think something like that. I, I 
Okay, so permission, but we want to be able to approve this today mm -hmm. and take it mm -hmm. in November. So permission okay. slips, health records. You were saying something about notarizing permission. a health record, like to give to the Boy Scouts. Or well, even like the that. health record is more like a permission. It's showing the parent. How do we want to? I'm, I'm wondering that. if if the best path forward is a. You know what shall what, what should not be notarized as opposed to trying to list all the and I do I could be that might be the that might be the easier list is, is what that's yeah. what you're saying well, the easier list of what not to do okay but then it go, we didn't go over that list <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but what, what we wanted to but then we get into yeah no, what, yeah what we want you to right correct what we want them to be able to notarize correct I think I think that's the list. Oh wait, no. I got myself. Yeah, yeah. 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 You did. You did that. Yeah. Well, we yeah. don't notarize. Um, but right. that. So we have thought to just put what we want to notarize, because then it would be simple. It just these are the only things that we do. So we can change, but. Uh, and this might need to ebb and flow a little bit too, because we might, in a couple of months, there might be something that comes up and somebody says, hey, this wasn't on the list, but it also wasn't on the, we don't do these sure. ones. So we may not get and that is to the discretion of the notary as well. Like, yeah. if they're not comfortable, yeah. right. sure. yeah. just say no. And, we, and, we and that is in the writing, I think. Yeah. Yeah. How about if we put their discretion? Sure. Like, um, Simple, what's it called? Simple forms at the discretion of the notary. Yeah, do we have discretion in here? Because we had talked about putting that in we here. Do. Yeah, we, we have a lot of discretion yeah. here. But so, okay. I would, I would add that to that. So, parental permission slip. I want to get this right. Permission slip. I think that that would be, and then you put to the, to the discretion of. Okay. But that does start showing that verbiage of simplicity. It, it is showing that uh, what is ex, you know the only available and it's these things. I'm saying simple forms. It does create that verbiage of simplicity. Okay. We are trying to keep um, it on the simpler side, less liability. Because okay. you start getting into some very. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> Um, and simple forms at of the notary. Is that mm -hmm. of the notary? Mm -hmm. Of the mm -hmm. notary. Okay. And then, again, this goes to the library board next weekend if we find something we can adopt it mm -hmm. you know on from there so yeah. okay so parental permission slips pertaining to numerous subjects and simple forms at the discretion of the notary does it need to have the pertaining part i'm curious because even parental permission slips and simple forms at the discretion of the notary may make it that so point across. Parental permission slips? Because the other doesn't really give a definitive like limit or anything. Okay. So I think we can you're, take that off. You're implying with permission slips and simple forms, it is pertaining to numerous subjects. Mm -hmm. Okay. The implication so we, is there. We, we just said, you know, different yeah. organizations and yeah. subjects. Yeah. That's all I'm just trying to say. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, parental permission set and simple form. Got it. Again, never 
a notary, so I'm just trying to... Yeah. <laughs> just to say, one of the reasons I became a notary was for the permission slips because I was involved with ministry a lot and they had to have them for everything youth group related. So. <laughs> when when you're taking a moment uh, to camp, yeah, you, know, you got to cover your staff. Yeah. <laughs> Certain public documents cannot be copied and notarized. And it has said in here certain um, examples of these are birth certificates, death certificates, and marriage certificates for this, but we aren't even doing any of those. And then we could put in this, this for this service, please contact the Tennessee Office of Bible Records. But that's only pertaining to records, then I didn't even know if that needs to be in there because we're not doing birth certificates, death certificates, right. and marriage certificates. Mm -hmm. So I can remove that. Um, or, again, I don't... It's hard. It to be wet. Right. It's just about a parent saying this is the copy. Of, it's not verifying that the official okay. documentation. Okay. So I can remove that. I, I was just merging this, but I know that we don't do any of those things. Mm -hmm. um, mortgages, will, wording rules, or you know, anything like that. Okay. All right. So I can do. Do you want me to? Certain public documents cannot be copied and notarized because nothing that we are having them notarized falls under that, correct? So take that out. Mm -hmm. I, okay, so my thoughts are this. I could completely, I, like I'd be fine with it being taken out or if we keep it in there, it's just further information so people understand what we're talking about. And it, But if it were to say as written, I would put that parentheses of the things you just said and where they could pursue it. So we're not I'm, doing any of those. Right. I'm just saying it helps them know what, if they're reading for clarification of what is notary services are all about in the library, for me it would help them understand we will not be doing these things. So they might think of that as a permission slip. They might think of that as something. It does um, just define it further. So. So, I mean, if I were reading and I'd be like, I need to have this this birth certificate copy just sign. I, I need to just sign that this is me turning this in and you are notarizing. Um, it would help me know know that I won't. They won't do that here. Um, I don't know if that's making sense. But um, no, I hear what you're saying. But I, I guess if we if if it's not in the six things that we notarize, then in my mind it's we don't notarize those. Right. I'm just saying further further clarification is probably what I'm saying. I, I like that Make extra sure word. They're not going to look up this policy and read through it. They're just going to come in and ask you. And the notary's going to say, we don't do that. You see what I'm saying? They're not going to look up this policy before they get to the library. Yeah, the person your your the patron notary. is not going right. to... Be prepared. I am the weirdo that I read them. I mean, you do, <laughs> and, and a lot of people do. But n normally, they just want something notarized. And right. if you say mm -hmm. we can't do that, yeah. and then you can direct them to where that you know well, how you to do that. that. On the appointment, you don't even yeah. ever, they don't ever even show up. To get right. Okay, so then what if tell them on the phone you can't do it? Okay, what if we put like any documents not listed in this policy? Um, for service, please contact the Tennessee Office of Bible Records. And I think that, that at least exactly. that helps people know where to go to. Sometimes people just don't know where to go for that further stuff. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that that would yeah. be. I think be. Read it again. Okay. For any documents wanting to be notarized by a customer that is not listed in this policy, Please refer to Tennessee Office of Bible Records. How is it written? How is the verbiage? It just says um, certain public documents cannot be copied in. 
death certificates and marriage certificates for this service, please contact the Tennessee Office of Vital Records. So certain public documents well, cannot be notarized. Not. Can I, I actually like the word. Okay. I like the word. Yeah, why not just word it exactly like that? Well, we don't need copies in there, so that's fine. Yeah, certain public documents cannot be notarized. Uh, and then examples of these are birth certificates, death certificates, and marriage certificates. For this service, please contact the Tennessee Office of Final Practice. Could you just put that in there? I think that's, mm -hmm. that's okay. That's reasonable. It's already been vetted. And cannot. Notary and any library shall never notarize any signature without the maker of the signature first appearing person before the notary. Signatures must be executed in the presence of the notary. In situations where a witness is required, a library required the library will not provide witnesses, and witnesses may not be solicited from customers within the library. In order to serve as a witness, the witness must personally know the individual's documents to be notarized and must be in possession of a valid photo identification. In accordance with the law, the notary will not provide service if the customer, document, or circumstances raise any issues of authenticity, ambiguity, doubt, or uncertainty for the library. Um, in this event, uh, that should be a period. period. Yeah. Yep. In this event, the library notary may, at his or her sole discretion, decline to provide notary service. The library director, library board, the city that the library. Um, it's in, I should put that in, that's in, that's in. And the library, the Sumner County and Sumner County will not be held liable for any action taken by the notary. If the notary is the library director, any legal action or notary misconduct will be possible grounds for termination. The library director will supply statistics on notary services and their reports to the library board and any library employees wishing to become a notary to provide notary service is shall do so at their own expense. The library shall not budget any money for reimbursement or classes for a certificate of notary. Yes, I think, um, and the question you came to the city that the library is in, um, it can be the city of the library or, um, or the library. library, I mean the city that the library resides in or, yeah, I was just trying to, okay. I think that sounds good. It covers a lot of the bases that we were trying to make sure it got covered. I think it's clear. Okay. And like Mike said, if we, you know, put this in place, if we come across something we need to tweak, yeah, we can it. always tweak yeah. it. It's not a hard and fast. No. Yeah. I'd love to check with our director of current yeah. has a notary <laughs> policy. Yeah. Um, so just like, and it's just legal 
picked up on that. Sure. So like minors can't get their contract technically, like it's right. like college financing, like Sally May, the devil and all that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, so and the only time a minor can't have a parent or guardian is if they're emancipated. So I think this requires that documentation, and that's just going to be Yeah. I look for all three like and all that stuff. I think it's not the same. Okay. Not only. But I think if it's written, it should be fine, and like a notary should be able to look at it and say, yeah. And yeah. that's at the discretion yeah. of the notary. They're going right. to push that into them. So this serves, this serves yeah. you well in yeah. how you've seen it functioning. And they don't think we need to word, put those wordings in there to I, just I the discretion the of the notary is good enough to have that. Yeah. Um, covered because the notary will know that stuff. And I used to even message my aunt who used to be a notary in the bank, and she said she didn't notarize minor signatures since they're not legal adults, and that goes into the whole like, minor. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so I, mean, I think as a notary, you sign that bond, you sign that insurance, right. all of that. Great. So as long as you got that description of the notary, mm -hmm. you can make those out of fun and the notary. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. We just want to protect y'all too. Yeah. Well, we want to make sure this isn't overly burdensome yeah. or not. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you know. it covers everything. It's providing right. uh, statistics and stuff. I just think that's the only thing we And what I like about us not putting it in per se, um, it does give that discretion right. to the notary because yeah. some people are going to we can't do cover minors and some are not. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you can <laughs> always go back to the DMC <laughs> statute and say, look, you know, yeah. they're not overstepping here. Yeah. They're leaving it up to me to say, right. I'm not, yeah. I'm not comfortable doing that. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. okay. Susie okay. Fowl, our note taker, told me an interesting story one time. She's a notary for the county. I mean, here, of course, they have several, but she had a mother that had twin sons, mm -hmm. and she brought one twin with his brother's birth certificate. The identical oh. twins trying to get, and I don't know how this was, him to inherit or get some property that the other twin was actually oh. entitled to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that actually yeah. happened to her yeah. wow. in this building. Wow. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. well, if they're identical, you know, if, yeah. if, if they're identical twins, yeah. you uh, could bring them. She said he had a driver's yeah. license, but it was the wrong twins' drive. Had a oh, valid wow. ID, but it was the wrong twin because they were identical. Wow. We're going to go ahead and move it. 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 Okay, so I will entertain a motion to uh, adopt the Notary Service Guidelines policy as amended today and to move on to the full library board for approval. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? And any abstentions? Now we are going to move on to the question and development policy. Um, and I will open up a, a motion. I will obtain a motion to open the session pertaining to the question and development policy. So moved. Okay, Jim. A second. Mike, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? The motion passes. Um, as I said before, there's a few things here. Um, if you look on, and I highlighted them on page five for donations, you replace recycled with um, for free to the community or to be disposed of. Um, that way, there's no specific on how they it doesn't have to be recycled or disposed of. Um, and then also on page. Um, again, we uh, identify items that can 
be sold after book sales, which are primary fundraisers for the library items that are unable to be sold and given the to be disposed of. That was recycled or removed and disposed of. And then one. Oh,
you for a second, not bring a um, packet for you, but um, I did give last time. Um, I think you have it. This one. Um, this one. And then Do you, Jackie, have? Town the entire week. Before they Yes. Okay. I'm out of town 16th through 23rd. Okay. So, uh, um, November. Of November. Of November. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then he just said he's out of town the weekend. Okay. So we can look at the, like, um, the week of December 3rd. Um, I would be okay with the next week if we wanted to have them out after anybody else would, but I would be okay not uh, free for the next week.
my granddad, he's got a basketball gun, and that kind of trumps everything, you know. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know. Uh, you're you're no. available every day, but the 12th, is that what I'm hearing? Of uh, that week, yes. Okay. Because um, okay. the 11th is a 6.30 night thing, so we're not going to, you know, we won't last that long, I don't think. So. I would be open on that week. Uh, that week. Yeah, so. Okay. Do you have I, uh -huh. I, I do have the consideration of I'm not available until 3.30 is the easier time for me. 3, three is, I would have a sign here. This is fine. Okay. I can do 3.30. I can do 3.30 on the 11th. Is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can do 3.30 on the 11th. Okay. Okay. Um, so, the only other consideration um, is, is that for me. It is, is that we also have to do I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else in my hair. Um, so, um, so just you know, we could um, maybe we could do like what things, we like today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of back to that. We need to. Yeah. So I'm just trying to put that out there. <laughs> so. And some of these, all so we'll have to do is go through and just clean it up. It's not like we're, you know, some of these policies. It's right. just sure. cleaning up the language. So we could, you know, just take some out, knock out as much as we can, and then drop back in time, you know, yeah. reschedule. Take it back up to the next. Yeah. Um, too, so we know yeah. how to sure. be prepared for mm -hmm. those. Yeah. I'll uh, just get to the meeting and then start. Uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, 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 what we're... Right, and that's what doing. she had just said. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. We'll know what sections we're working on. Right. And yeah. So we could work until that time and then trans. And set it off to the next. Uh, so, do we want to do? Um, that I'd say we need at least an hour to work. So it would be three thirty, and you know this closes at five thirty. So I we could do three thirty to four thirty, and four mm thirty -hmm. to five thirty to close. And, and we still have to make sure that works with Haley, her personnel for the last right. mm -hmm. meeting. Um, you know, I'm gonna say this. Hold on a second. Can we move it to something other than? Church. Well, she said it, it does. Oh, we need to do work for me because she has church issues. Oh. What time does she have to? Because, like, if I'm out of here by 6 30, I can get to the top of the by 7. If nobody did my way, <laughs> you know, I can make it. But, um, and usually we are, except for a time or two, we're three. What time does she have to be out of here? Mm -hmm. I sometimes find that she tentatively set it that way and then just check in with her sure. because I know sometimes she's yeah. that she yeah, early needs. Yeah. If, if it doesn't work, can we move it to three? Starting at three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So let's do three thirty and then we'll tentatively um, on that and then um, for policy and bylaws. Okay. So three thirty? Yep. Correct. Um, right. 
So I think that taking with personnel and the evaluation policy and the personnel, I think that that would be better because that way you could get to the library board in November to vote for. Or what, what are you suggesting? Well, I, I don't know that it is obviously very new to all this and how we work here. I don't know that the personnel committee has the uh, authority to make a change or to vote changes to the policies and send those to the board. Right? That's my only concern. I'm open to being wrong. Do you want this personnel and then this specific specific policy? Um, and I think that the only reason it went to personnel for the policy was because it was specifically with um, yeah. directed well, it came out of that. personnel. Yeah. Sure. So I have a thought. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, like, if budget, if, if they were to have certain needs in certain in policy and, and they needed to kind of review something or create something mm -hmm. um, and they brought it, so I, I think it should process the way it's been processing because it is about the need of the personnel and, okay. and staff. But when it's brought to um, the board mm -hmm. meeting, if there was ever a conflict or needing further conversation because a bylaw needs, it could be referred to back to policy or bylaws and we could go from there. But it, you know, because mm -hmm. if we have conflict with it or if there's something you know, from a bylaw policy side. Okay. Okay. That no, sounds, I, I, I think, that I that think that's a fair, fair that concept. Doctor, not to bring down the budget is person who says, which means that Joe would budget that they would understand more on how to create that and then go to policies. So, as we make the changes to the personnel, as we look at this today, once it's voted on, then it, when it becomes policy policy, it can go, it can go from one to the other. Yeah, yeah, because that's what you just said, policy. and I missed you. Okay. Policies and bylaws. Well, by nature, it's gonna right. Yeah. Is that is that what we're gonna think in? Mm -hmm. Well, I, go ahead. I think you were uh, we're wanting to resolve the issue going before the full library board next week, right? And so that that what was just explained. Yeah. Personnel to bylaws to the board wouldn't happen that way. Not until the end. Um, if, if, if there's a problem, then it could go to the personnel. I mean, not the bylaws and policies. The full board. By, yeah. yeah, and by nature, it comes once it's even adopted, if adopted by the board, by nature, it comes to policies. It becomes part of our data. Yeah. Our if we ever needed to bring policy. You know, yeah. uh, different verbiage or different things to keep it congruent. We we could take we could take issue with it before. We could take issue with it after if there was an issue. Okay, it's like the art and my thought. Okay. Is that correct? Is that fair? Yeah. Is that fair? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with that, you may be thrown in your lap. Uh, Can you make them adjourn for you? Motion to adjourn. Okay. <laughs> and Mike, in all of everything, aye. 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 Okay. All right. Motion passes. Any extension? No, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Can you, I would give anybody to agree okay. that this is not a good time. Okay. 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 Okay